Hi guys, today I have a really special book to read to you. It is called The Sloth Who Came to Stay. And I found this book in our school library and I have to say, I think it's now one of my favorites. The author is Margaret Wilde and the illustrator is Vivian Tu. And this book is about slowing down and enjoying the little things in life. And I hope you enjoy it just as much as I do. The Sloth Who Came to Stay Amy's family was the speediest family in the world. Wow, look at those pictures. You can tell how speedy they are. And look at mum and dad's faces. Their mum's trying to do work as she's rushing around. There's beeping going on. There's things ringing. They walked fast, drove fast, shopped fast, ate fast. There was never any time to talk or play or laugh and laze. They all look a bit shocked as well on their faces, don't they? Until the afternoon, Amy brought a sloth home to stay. Where on earth did you find him? Dad asked. Hanging from a tree in the park, Amy said, plucking one beetle and two moths from his fur. Mum shuddered. He needs a bath, she said. She said. Sloth shook his head very, very slowly. Because sloths do everything slowly. Quick smart, said Mum. I have to warn you, sloth, Amy whispered. We are the fastest family in the world. Sloth had a long leisurely bath with lots of bubbles, a purple duck and a red boat. Well, that looks very relaxing. You can see mum and dad standing there trying to get lots of things done. Still mum's cooking. Dad's got papers he's working on. He dried himself slowly, combed his fur slowly, admired himself for ages in the mirror, then crawled down the stairs for dinner. Amy, Mum and Dad were already sitting at the table. Quick sticks, old chap, said Dad. Chop, chop, said Mum. See what I mean, sloth, Amy said with a sigh. So if somebody says chop chop, it usually means like hurry up and same with quick sticks. It means be nice and speedy. And if you look at the illustrations, you can see even on the shelf in the top corner, a guide for busy people, think faster, instant meals, five minute meals, 15 minute meals, 20 minute meals. And mum seems to be doing work while she's eating her food as well. Sloth ate very, very slowly. He was so slow that Amy had plenty of time to talk about the things that had happened that day. Looks like Amy had a great day. She went on a swing, had a lemonade stand, finished first in a race. How amazing, said Mum. I wish I'd been there, said Dad. When Sloth had finished helping very slowly to do the dishes, Dad said, just enough time for a quick trot around the block before bedtime. And what do you think it means by a quick trot? I think looking at the images, what Mum and Dad are doing, it looks like they're going to have a bit of a run around the block. But Sloth couldn't trot. He dragged himself along very, very slowly. So slowly that Amy and Mum and Dad had plenty of time to chat with the neighbours, pat a cat and throw a stick for a friendly dog, admire the moon and try to find the red star. Oh, that looks like a lovely night. 
When they got home, Sloth made himself comfortable hanging from a tree in the garden. Amy hugged him goodnight. Thank you, she whispered. This has been the best day of my life. Sloth stayed for three glorious weeks. Oh, I love the use of the word glorious there. And they do look glorious. Look at them. Knitting in the top, planting things in the garden, reading books, painting, singing. It looks very different to how it did in their family at the start, doesn't it? Even mum's hair is out and all more relaxed. But one morning, Sloth moved next door to the new speediest family in the world. I'll miss him, Dad said. He's such a restful little fellow. He'll hate it there, Mum said. That family's always in such a rush. They walk fast, drive fast, shop fast, eat fast. Oh, sloth will change all that, Amy said. Wow, look how different Mum and Dad's and Amy's lives are now that they've learnt to slow down and appreciate all of the little things that sloth has taught them to appreciate. Even Dad's mug, it says relax on it. Mum has her hands full with some gardening instead of all the papers she was running around with at the beginning. And their books near the hammock there say the art of patience and slow cooking. Looks a lot more relaxing, doesn't it? And he did very, very slowly. I just love this book and I love the message in it about slowing down and enjoying the little things in life. I think all of us could have a sloth come and stay for a little bit and help us learn a little bit more about that, couldn't we? I hope you enjoyed the book.